Many thanks uh, to our Hafs and Hutulin. Kev, do you think that they are the surprise package in, uh, in English football this season? Uh, just looking at the table, the fact that they've topped it is one thing at a uh, stage in time. But when you see everyone else who've been top of the table, it's kind of expected they would be there or thereabouts. Not Southampton. Certainly not Southampton. Yeah. No, you wouldn't have thought that. Uh, thought that, uh, especially you know when you go back to that time when, when they lost, was it eight or nine nil nine. against Leicester? I think ever nine nil. So, you know they could have easily got rid of the manager after that, but they didn't. They stuck by him, uh, supported him, backed him, uh, which which is fantastic to see. Uh, and since then they've just progressed. They've got better. I think he's brought players in that that he wants to suit the style of play that he likes to play. That high intensity. Uh, you know, Diallo being a cl classic example, you know, he's slotted into that midfield area. You know, he's, uh, you saw today, he outpaced Pepe on that when he recovered uh, early on in the second half. So he's um, he's gradually, for me, is Southampton a team that could go all the way to the cup final? Of course they could, you know, as long as they can keep that 11, 12, 13, 14 players fully fit. He said there pretty much what I was saying about going with his strongest side as long as he possibly can, and and like Alan said before that before the the, uh, the game started, he's still got Romeo, he's still got uh, Vestergaard to come back into the side, which will make even better competition. They've got some good young players as well, which they showed during the week in the cup against Shrew in the cup game against Shrewsbury. So, like he said, they're not going to get relegated. They're probably not going to get in the Champions League. So why not throw your eggs in the basket and have a go at trying to win the FA Cup? As I said, the last time they were there were in 2003. They obviously lost to Arsenal to a Thierry Henry goal. But, you know, it's been a long time. So why couldn't this season be Southampton season? Of course, it'd be difficult. But um, I think he's going to prioritise listening to what he was saying there, the FA Cup. I've I've been down at Southampton quite a few times this season, and uh, you talk to people behind the scenes, and they say, you know, even after that nine nil, there was never any question they were going to get rid of Hasen Hootel. They had total faith in him, uh, and they also say that even before they employed him, even before they employed Ronald Koeman, he was always on their radar. So. I think the planning that's gone into actually recruiting him and keeping faith in him has been has been top class. And I suppose the biggest problem they face now is keeping hold of him. You know, he's been linked to Chelsea and he'll be linked to a few more clubs. Uh, he's got something about him, Kev, hasn't he? You can imagine him in the dressing yeah. room. He's a big figure anyway. And when he talks, those players are going to listen. And especially because he, he knows what he's talking about. That's, that's obvious. He makes tweaks throughout the throughout mm. the game, as he just said in that interview, and uh, definitely a, a fine, fine manager that's, you know, leading that Southampton team into kind of heady waters at the moment. I I think, Alan, I, you know, disagree with me or not, I, I think he's almost got that Klopp um, mm. appearance about him, that authority. You know, he's a big guy. Um, you know, he's very intelligent. He knows the game inside out. Um, so yeah, it is. A, the, the, I agree with you. The big thing for him is, you know, the club is: can they keep hold of him? Can they keep hold of Danny Ings? Because they have, over the years, been notoriously been known as a selling club. Uh, but I think mm. while Ralph is there, I don't think it will that will happen because he, he won't stand for it. So the biggest problem is obviously keeping hold of the manager. If he continues, you know, if they were to get to the cup final um, and finish in Europe, you know, that you see what it means for him here after. You know, we covered the Liverpool game. He's a very passionate guy, like Klopp as well. So he's doing a really, really good job down down on the south coast there. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the only thing because he's clearly an ambitious coach as well as being a talented one. So if he sees his top players leaving, then you lose a bit of heart, don't you? So Danny yeah. Ings obviously is a standout. In commentary, they were talking about Ryan Bertrand's future. He, he'd been linked to Arsenal. I think I think his contract's up at the end of this season. So if he's yeah. running that down, he might be looking at his options. So when your team, your squad starts to just disintegrate a little bit, as it has in the past, as, as a manager, you're thinking, oh, does my future lie here? At the moment, it's all great, isn't it? And uh, he'll be energised by what's happening there. Multiple reports this week say that Chelsea, should they let go of Frank Lampard, will be looking for a German-speaking manager. And you can see why they've signed some very expensive Germans in the last transfer window. Could he do <laughs> a job in London, in south-west London, Alan? Do you see Ralf Hasenhutl being a fit for Chelsea Football Club? 
Well, I don't want to see Frank Lampard out of a job at the moment. No, but... I think he deserves time. Uh, but there's no question if he were to get that job, he's not going to be out of his depth. I don't think there's any question of that. He would uh, he would be uh, invigorated, I think, by coaching better players, which, which they would be at Chelsea, different sorts of players. Um, so, yeah, there's no problem. They do call him the Klopp of the Alps, don't they? So he's, he's got a bit of Jurgen Klopp about him, as Kev says. Um that that would be interesting, uh, but I think I think any, any I think any footballer would respect what he's got to say, because uh, he's clearly a, a talented tactician as well as a man motivator as well. Any other clubs pop up on the radar for you, Kevin? I mean, Chelsea seems to be the most likely destination if it were to happen mm. because of the situation there, and that they are apparently looking for a German-speaking manager. Yeah, well, like Alan says, you know, I wouldn't like to see Frank, you know, lose his job. I don't like to see any managers lose their job. I understand football's football. We're in a results business and no bigger so than Chelsea. When you spend that sort of money, you, you're you going to come under pressure if you're not winning football matches. It's as simple as that. Um, but I, I, I just think, you know, Hassan Hoot or, you know, his time will come. I think he just has to keep doing what he's doing. Um, see what happens at the end of the season. If he could manage to keep hold of Ings, Ings will stay at the club, although that could be very difficult because he's come out with comments this week saying that he wants to play Champions League football next season. And of course, that's not going to happen at Southampton. So there could be an issue there. But yeah, you know, I think Hassan Hoot or at Chelsea would do a fine job. But I, you know, I want to see Frank be given a chance for sure. Um, he certainly could manage any of the teams in the Premier League. Um, it just depends on what sort of ambition that, that, that he has. Um, but I think at the moment, if you, if you sat him down and asked him, I think he's very happy where he is. Um, you know, it takes a while to build up what he's done. Um, but of course, you know, football's football. If a Chelsea come knocking on the door, it's the same as a player. It can be very hard to turn down. So it'd be very interesting in the summer to see what happens regarding, you know, the manager and few of the players down at Southampton. 